Hi there, Joe Crawford, chatbot, copywriter, and dialogue designer here. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to integrate payments into a chatbot that you build on the Snatchbot platform. Now, why would we want to integrate payments? Well, quite simply, it allows you to monetize the chatbot that you've built. It's also extremely critical and extremely helpful to your user if they're able to make purchases directly through the chatbot that they're already using. So with that said, let's get right into it. Now in terms of payment processing systems, Snatchbot uses PayPal. This is because it's widely accepted and highly secure, so it's easy to integrate. Now to do this, you're going to first go to your account, which is just above the logout, and select payment system. Now, you'll need to get a PayPal app ID and a PayPal app secret, which you need a PayPal account for. This is fairly easy to do, and we've linked our guide on how to do this in the description. In this case, I've just entered 12345 as my samples. So we'll select Save, and now we're connected at the back end to the PayPal system, which means it's time to actually go about putting in this functionality to our bot. So we'll select my bots from along the left hand menu. And we'll use once again, the Joe bot. In this case, we'll be simulating someone purchasing their gym membership from within the bot. So what we're first going to do is to add an interaction. In this case, we'll select a bot statement and we'll name it payment. Now we don't want to add a message here in the bots message dialog box. What we want to do is go down to cards and select gallery. Click the pl blue plus in the middle of the gallery card to get started. So first things first, it will prompt for an image, which I will select from my desktop. Let's use this fine gentleman here. Perfect fit. And we'll call it one month gym membership. No URL to pull in. Price $20. Check say it's a good price for a gym membership these days. Next, select add button at the bottom of this gallery. Now there are a number of different buttons that you can add. In this case, we'll want payment. Once again, we'll say our price is 20. The size that'll pop up when they click, we want 100% of the screen. Now success pay and fail pay, basically they tell your bot where to send and which interactions to prompt, depending on if the payment is a success or if the payment is a failure. Now I have already created this payment success and payment failure. I'll hook those up. Pay success, pay failure. And finally, we'll name it. We'll call this button buy, add button. And there we go. Now just to show you, pay success says your payment was a success. Enjoy your workout. While pay failure says, looks like something went wrong, try again. Now it's also important to remember that people somehow have to get to that payment interaction. So to do this, we'll go back to our initial greeting, which gives users a menu. So we'll create a quick reply, which says membership. And we'll cancel this out and we'll add a connection here. One more so that if response to this interaction contains whole word membership. I don't need any synonyms for this, thank you. We'll try that one more time. If response to this interaction contains whole word membership. 
then we will go to payment. And with that selection, that will link us to how we actually go about paying. So let's test it and see how it works out. Select membership, which will bring up one month gym membership, price $20 in our image, and buy. Now this won't actually work as those were not actually my PayPal IDs and such, but when done correctly, this will lead you directly next to payment success and will allow you to do what's arguably most important from your bot, which is generate revenue. So that's it for today. Feel free to comment or message with any questions, and I look forward to seeing you next.